Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal in Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. For the newbies, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is going to be a reading for the new moon um, in Taurus coming up on the 22nd or 23rd, depending on where you are. This new moon brings hope, guys. The sun is shining bright in Taurus. Um, there's hope, there's love, opportunity is here. We're still working, we're still shedding, you know, um, with Pluto and, uh, and Jupiter and Capricorn. Things are magnified, things that no longer work are magnified. We're discovering that we have the power to change our life and to make it be what we want it to be, right? We're rediscovering ourselves, we're rebirthing. The whole world is rebirthing. Collectively, we're rebirthing. Um, we're finding our truth. We're knowing that now the real value is within us. It's not possessions. It's not money. It's not luxury items. You know, it's inside of us. That's where it all began. It's, that's where we need to go back to. So we also have Saturn and Mars in Aquarius. Aquarius, the collective, right? Us, the people, oneness. Again, Saturn shedding the control, the programming, our self-inflicted control, control from society, control from the people around us, whether that's subconsciously or unconsciously. I mean, subconsciously or consciously, sorry. Mars is uh, firing it up, so we, there's a little bit of aggressivity in the air. We, are, we feel cornered because it's in our face and we have to deal with it. And it's not uh, when we're forced to change. Anything that we're forced to do brings like anxiety, brings uh, fear, brings um, an ease, right? So um, we have Mercury and Aries. Again, fire energy, you know, standing up for ourselves. Make sure though you don't get into the ego energy. Don't um, lash out. Don't be defensive. Nurture yourself. That's what Taurus is about. It's self-nurturing. It's tapping into your God, Goddess energy, in your truth, in um, your dreams, your hopes and your aspirations. Believing again, right? That's hope. Um, the sun, the moon, and Uranus are conjunct in Taurus. Uranus is the awakener, the revolutionary planet. So everything is pushing us toward, towards a bright future. It is bright, it might not seem like it, but things are already getting better. We can feel it in the air. We're in the age of Aquarius. There's such a feeling of hope, okay, and promise. Um, but it starts with you. So self-love, self-nurturing, forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, you know, um, taking time to take care of you, tapping into your inner child, Tapping into your God energy. It's all about the balance, body, mind, and spirit. I recommend a meditation for this new moon um, in Taurus, guys. Look it up. So many great meditations. Cleansing is necessary to heal as well. Cleansing, meditation, anything you can do to go within, to tap into your true essence, to remember who you are, okay? To remember that you are a powerful being. Um, Venus is retrograde, pre-shadow retrograde, and Gemini as well. It's going to be uh, going retrograde on May 12th. So again, Venus is helping us. Lots of hard energy, energy, sorry, strong, powerful energy, um, confusing energy, um, decisive energy. But there's a lot shining light into it, which is this new moon in Taurus, as well as the sun in Taurus. Now, Venus retrograde in Gemini. Gemini is the mind, right? It's our siblings. It's um, how we think. But how we think when we go down that deep well of self-knowing, of self-acceptance, okay, of truth, of desire, of passion. So... Venus being in retrograde is also pointing the finger at things we need to revise, things we need to reinitiate, things we need to, you know, reset. It's a total value reset for the whole collective, and it starts with you.
All right, guys. So let's get some cards. This is the tarot, which um, which is called what is it called? Which is tarot by Ellen Duggan. We're gonna get some cards and we'll get some oracles, obviously. All right. I hope you guys are doing okay. Oops, I have an Instagram now for this channel. Um, I have an Instagram like a personal one, but I've changed so much that it doesn't even look like my life anymore. So I just decided to create an Instagram channel for the new me. And since I started writing, reading tarot and for my the tarot community. So that's going to be my community. I hope you guys come follow me so we can like create a nice little tribe based on trust and compassion and love and support and support one another. Um, and it's uh, crystalloon underscore light. So crystalloon, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-L-U-N underscore light, L-I-G-H-T. I hope to see you there. All right, so let's get to it with the tarot. A little bit of sage. Cleansing is necessary, guys. Reboot, restart, refresh. The energies are getting lighter, guys, so don't worry about it, okay? It's going to be okay. We're about to get in, out of this confinement. I think most countries are talking about May, sometime in May. We don't know when here in, in Paris. It's on the 11th, but we'll see. Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Standing up for yourself, assuming, being a boss, being God, goddess-like. Standing up for yourself, going after what you want, and achieving it all by yourself. Going in that deep well of your inner knowing, and creating from a space of passion, of love, of truth. Nine of Pentacles. She's strong. It could be, a, it's not gender specific. Strong, determined, independent, self-assured. Standing in your power, knowing that you can make anything you want come true, you know? You just have to put the work into it and believe and dedication is necessary, okay? Perseverance. All right, so what do we have for the collective, please? Green Moon and Taurus. Five of Cups. Going and moving away from sorrow and jumping into that portal of hope. <clears throat> knowing that it gets better. Knowing that what past is past, has passed, and it's time to open the door now. It's time to open the new door, to write that new book, to set those new foundations, to get out of that energy of pity, self-pity, of, you know, of mourning. And the moving forward. What's gone is gone. It's time for newness. Self-nurturing. <clears throat> Spirit of collective. New moon in Taurus. I mean, new moon in Taurus. Did I say full moon before? It's new moon in Taurus. How many do we have here? One. Let's get two more. It's a new dawn, guys. New paradigm shift. Letting go of control. Letting go of what you know things to be because they're no longer what they used to be. And if you try to fight it, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Because you will feel like you don't belong. Ride the wave. Okay. There we go. So, oops. <clears throat> See, Ace of Wands, that new passionate beginning based on love, based on believing, faith, trusting, following your intuition, being determined, having willpower to make this new beginning. For yourself. Nine of Pentacles. The shadow, devil, and the devil card, right? Going away from that devil energy. 
That's that shadow work. We're all going through this, guys. Whether it be internally. Well, it is internally, right? It's shadow. So, meaning, whether it be, uh, when I say internally, it's like your own shadow. Like, um, how can I say this? Like stuff that you've held on to since your childhood, I mean. <clears throat> or like recent stuff, meaning lost relationship. Um, a loss. Some kind of loss. It's either the shadow that's like you hanging on to something that's past or recent loss. That's what I mean. You know, losing maybe a relationship, losing a job, even losing faith. Okay. That's the battle that has to be had now that has to be fought. Four source, taking time to nurture yourself, to go within and ask yourself the right questions. Reviewing your life. Reviewing what has passed, learning from the shadow, letting go, and embarking in this new beginning. Okay? Totally free, totally new, totally rested and rejuvenated with a new perspective, new passion, or even rekindling with old passion because Venus retrograde does that too. Doesn't mean the X though, okay? When I talk about passion, it's like, you, your passion, your individual passion, not passion that we tend to th think that we need somebody to, to, to feel alive. No, this is your personal passion, your personal power. What makes you powerful? What are you passionate about? What lights you up? Okay. Take time to figure that out. There's no rush. Venus retrograde is going to, I mean, Venus is going to be in Gemini for a long time till June. So it's not a contest. Take the time you need. Queen of Swords. Clarity. Decision. No bullshit. Not lying to yourself anymore. Really seeking that truth. And coming from a place of wisdom. Of experience. Knowing that what you've learned only made you stronger. And set you on the path to success. Going towards success, growth, and not being held back by these old energies, okay? Not being held back by the shadow. But moving forward towards your goals, your wants and your desires that will bring abundance. When we are balanced internally, when we are abundant, what is the uh, internal abundance? Internal abundance is love. It's valuing yourself. That's abundance. And that kind of abundance, that true abundance, that pure abundance, then calls in the exterior abundance. Meeting people, your tribe, good things happening to you. You are lucky. Then you are lucky. When you feel good and you come from a place of knowing, you've healed, you've analyzed the situation, you've made peace with the past, and you're just open for the future. You're hopeful, you know, you're passionate. You want to live. Okay. This is about us. How much do we want to live? I mean, it's like having this sense of like wanting to live again, wanting to discover things, wanting to live this life to its fullest. This is what this Taurus new moon is doing, guys. Okay. All right. Let's get some. Um, see, then we have the, the nine of cups. Wow. This is what we need to do. This is that ultimate fulfillment. And the uh, this is the bottom of the deck. This is what we need to do now. There's no other option. We've been in lockdown. You know, I feel like when this lockdown is over, we're definitely going to feel so free. And we're going to just feel passionate about life again. We're going to see things totally different. We're going to be more connected to the collective. You know, nicer, more empathic. And, you know, we're going to support each other. Um... Things that we took for granted are suddenly going to, you know, have value for us. We're going to be so um, determined to be good, you know, to feel good, to feel fulfilled. Taurus, you know, fulfillment, pleasure, love, passion, Venus as well. Venus retrograde is making you ask yourself, what fulfills you to the core? Okay. So let's get some, um, I'm going to get a Queen of the Moon Oracle. I, it's fitted, right? New Moon. Stacey DeMarco. Let's 
get a Queen of the Moon Oracle for you guys, collective, and myself. Let's see. <clears throat> Spirit, what do we have for the collective from the Queen of the Moon for this new moon in Taurus? Yep, the Devil Energy, Five of Cups. I don't think there's any choice but to walk towards the light. Let the light in. There's no other option, really. It's such a rebirth. I mean, guys, it's like... It's spring. It's a rebirth. It's just believing in yourself again. Believing in humanity. Breaking those bar bar uh, barriers. Breaking that, you know, the restrictions. The naysayers. Uh, the blockages. It's freedom. Sense of freedom here. Claim your freedom. And celebrate yourself. Celebrate life. All right, spirit. Collective. New card. Major growth. Major expansion. Look at that. The unexpected. This is not knowing what's coming, but just being here for it. Being present and having faith and knowing that whatever energy you are in, you won't be afraid of what's coming because you feel good already. So anything else that comes is bonus. And when you're in that energy, that's when you call that energy, right? Like we say, we create our own reality. When you're in a state of this nine of cups, you can be sure that the unexpected is going to be awesome. Awesome. Brilliant. Magical. Trust in the universe. Trust in source. Sorry. There is something amazing coming. We just have to believe. And mean, in the meantime, just work, you know, on us and getting to that place of fulfillment. That's all we have to do. And let the universe do its job. Okay, let's put it here, all right, <clears throat> let's get a sacred destiny, well, let's get a, yeah, let's get a work your light first. Do your job on you and let the universe do the rest, okay? You can't control it, the only thing you can control is you. Let go, surrender. Surrender to the shadow of the emotions so that you can really have them in front of you and, you know, and deal with them. Surrender. So then you can make space for that new energy and start nurturing yourself. Plan your future. Be optimistic. Anything is possible. We have the opportunity now to rewrite our life. This is what it's giving to us. Okay, guys. Oops, that's a lot. Oh. All right, Spirit, what do I have for the collective? <clears throat> Sacred Destiny, Dennis Lynn. Wait, I'm making some tomato sauce and grain. Let me just turn it off. Before it dries or burns. There we go. Alright, spirit. Here I am. I'm back. What do you have for the collective? New moon tours. It's a transformation, guys. Let go and let God. want to come out we'll get them we'll take them oh three okay potential mm-hmm thriving wow release definitely guys 
we have to release the shadow. This new moon, Taurus new moon, uh, doing a ritual in this new moon of self-care and nurturing is going to be amazing for cleansing negative energy. Stuff that you've been holding on to that you, you just, you thought you dealt with and it's just like resurfacing. That's that Jupiter Pluto in Capricorn. Those binds, invisible binds. It's time to release, guys. Okay. Potential. There is potential in the unexpected because it's not here yet. So you have the opportunity to make it what you want it to be. Okay. We create our own reality, basically. Instead of fearing the unknown, right? What we don't know is coming. And making all these stories in our head about it. How it's going to look and blah, blah, blah. How about we do the best we can to be in a perfect positive energy of love, self-love, right? Feeling good, okay? Um, connected to spirit, connected to Mother Gaia, connected to the ones we love. Just being in a good place. And just working towards maintaining that energy. Okay? That's the potential here. In order to unknowingly, and if you don't know, I'm telling you, once you're in that energy, you are going to manifest something beautiful. Because then we have thriving. We need to persevere. We need to move, keep on going forward. We need to. We need to keep on dreaming. We need to believe again. We need to emerge. We need to um, keep strong and keep moving forward. Okay? So, so I have three cards here. Okay. Let me put that back here. Now let's get some... Um, can I, what am I going to get? Uh, doo, 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 sacred, no, we got Sacred Destiny. Okay, we're just going to finish it off with the universe has your back then. Card. There's something else I wanted to get. What is, oh yeah, Work Your Light. There you go. Let's get a Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca T um, Campbell, sorry. Guys, there's potential. We're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's time to keep you know release we're never done releasing the shadow right we're always doing shadow work that's what life comes with you know we learn we learn we get hurt we get we fall down we pick ourselves up we release and we thrive again that's the cycle you know it's time to release and thrive sorry release and thrive and go after what you want and desire. Okay. All right. Work your light, Rebecca Campbell. There's a lot of potential in the air. Seize it. Work with it. There's a promise of a new beginning. But you have to welcome it. How do you welcome it? By releasing and letting go. And clearing your heart chakra, clearing your throat chakra, speaking up about what you need and what you don't want and what you want. And using the third eye and the crown chakra to get the information, the download that spirit, you know, is always here to give you if you allow it. future is very promising guys okay all right work your light
warrior woman. I love it. Queen of Swords energy. Have you answered your deepest calling, guys? Have you? Ask yourself. This is it. Like I said, so much potential in this new energy that we're in right now. You have the Queen of Swords and the Warrior Woman. Both are the same energy. Have you answered your deepest calling? It's at reach. It's at hand. It's closer than you think. You have to tap in to get it, to understand it, to get the, the, the you know, the breakthrough. But you have to be clear-minded, level-headed, and open to receive it. Don't fear the unexpected. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. All right? Just do it. What makes you feel good? What are you passionate about? Where do you go from here? Ask yourself. This is the Gabriel Bernstein, Universe Has Your Back. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. That's what I said. You don't know what the unexpected holds. So all you can do is be in the here now and make sure that you are okay. Make sure that you are feeling good, that you are peace at peace with yourself, that you're not down talking yourself. You're not having, as, you know, Regrets. Regrets is normal, but you don't have to, you know, carry that all along. And just know that any, everything happens for a reason. It's not your fault, but it is a normal, valid emotion. So try to find your inner peace. Let it go. Shed that. Release it. Allow that new energy of hope to come back into your life. Let that be your, 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 you know, your chariot. It's time to hop on the chariot, guys. What is a chariot? It's a warrior that's fought many battles, that's done a lot of shadow work, that had a lot of battles to fight, lots of them, internal battles, outward battles, but has dusted itself off and released and rekindled with the potential, the power inside of him or her, and that is striving again faithfully, powerfully, self-confident, and that is not going to stop until it reaches the success it desires. Okay? When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real, guys. Have faith. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys. Don't forget to um, check me out on Instagram, crystalloon underscore light. C-R-Y-S-C, -S sorry, sorry, like Charlotte, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-L-U-N-E underscore L-I-G-H-T. Thank you. Bye.